Have you ever checked your pay stub and noticed that some of your hard-earned money was already taken away for something called withholding tax? If you're thinking about retirement, you might be wondering how taxes work with withdrawing from your registered retirement savings plan or your RIF or your LIF or any of these other things that come along with being a retired person in Canada. Well, today I'm going to talk about withholding taxes and what that actually means for you. Withholding taxes are the money that's sent to the Canada Revenue Agency before you file your taxes. So if you've had employment income or withdrawn from an RSP or a RIF or a LIF, you've probably seen this already. When you have income from any of these sources, you have a top line number, we call that your gross income, and then a bunch of deductions, and one of those is gonna be withholding taxes before the final amount that actually ends up in your bank account. If you're planning to make an RSP withdrawal, you can check out this video over here to find out some more details on the exact amounts of withholding taxes that'll be applicable for your situation. Now, you might be wondering why the government even takes this money in advance. Well, there's two main reasons for it. The first is so that you don't have to come up with all of it as a big lump sum when you file your taxes in March and April. And the second one is the government doesn't really trust that you're actually going to come up with the money. <laughs> and so they charge that withholding taxes up front so that they don't run the risk of you spending the money by accident or on purpose. But the big thing to remember is that Withholding taxes are not an additional tax or a penalty or anything like that. They're just a prepayment of taxes that you're likely to owe anyways. When you file your taxes, the CRA calculates how much income you have from all sources, any deductions that you have from there, and then what your net amount is. And then from there, they calculate what your tax rate should be. After that, there are tax credits that you could earn from a variety of different ways, uh, but also then that's where you get credit for taxes that you've already paid through things like withholding taxes. So withholding taxes show up at the end and it reduces the amount of taxes that you already owe. So as a result, withholding taxes might actually be too much and you could get a refund if you've already prepaid too much tax. But withholding taxes are just that it's not a perfect understanding of how much tax you're gonna owe on your income, and so it might not be enough. And so there could be a situation where you actually have to pay at the end of the year, even though you have prepaid some withholding taxes. Again, it could be too much and it might not be enough. Because withholding taxes are just a best guess, it might be a good idea to set aside some money as part of your emergency fund to make sure that you don't have any unexpected uh, tax surprises. And if you do have an unexpected tax surprise, you actually have some cash set aside that you can use to pay that bill. I talk about emergency funds in this video over here and you can check that out right now. Everything in this video revolves around the world of Canadian taxes. And so if you need a refresher on how that works, the video up on the screen now is a good place to start. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in another video.